shipping to Hawaii could be faster than ever. That's thanks to a new ship in the Matson fleet. The Lurleen is the largest roll-on and roll-off container ship built in the United States. Nikki Schenfeld was on board for a tour and tells us more. Nikki. Well, Sam, the ship docked yesterday here in Honolulu and is the size of about three football fields. It's greener than its old fleet, faster, and easier to get vehicles on and off board. Walking onto Matson's Lurleen is like stepping into a large parking garage at sea. The ship's garage has several ramps and can hold about 500 vehicles, plus more cargo, and is much more energy efficient. And the biggest uh, benefit to us is that because these ships are bigger and faster, we're able to operate with one fewer fleet unit. So we're going to go from a 10 ship deployment to a 9 ship deployment. That will allow us to cover the same amount of cargo that's required into the islands every week with one less ship. It's also the fastest ship in its fleet with the capability to reach 23 knots, ensuring on time deliveries in Hawaii. But with her sister ship expected to be finished by the end of this year, deliveries to and from Hawaii will be even faster. Because our vessels to Hawaii and the West Coast are on a 14-day rotation, having two identical ships will be able for the, our fleet every same day of the week to be in the same lo location so that our customers can count on that to plan their own supply chains around for the loading and unloading of cargo. With new state-of-the-art technology and green technologies, the ship will be able to run in emergencies like a big weather event. Even if HECO goes down, we're going to still be, have the ability to load and unload. And if we were in a very difficult situation uh, where we, we, you know, we, we had a, a big impact here by a weather event or something, uh, Matson would be able to do things that it couldn't do before after our investments are completed. So we're, we're, we're excited about that as well. And the sister ship is expected to be completed by the end of this year. Each ship cost about $250 million. Sam. Nikki, thank you. Well, the sun's finally out. Perfect timing for the weekend. Kamaka.